What's up guys? So I recorded this and then the sound was absolutely horrendous. And usually, obviously, if you've seen my videos, you know the sound isn't usually horrendous, it's just bad. So I am redoing it, redoing it again to uh, make sure to maintain the mediocre quality standards that I maintain. And I had this whole preamble <laughs> that I recorded the first time that I have completely forgotten what it was. But I think it was something like, oh, if you, I understand, I completely understand that some people like the sub, some people like the dub, and that going back and forth between both is the most complete way of ensuring that somebody is going to be disappointed at some point. But for me, in watching the show, I actually like getting both sides of the way that it has been produced. And I've actually been going back and occasionally watching some pieces of the Kai version, you know, that's available on the, the nudie site or whatever. So I've been watching that occasionally. Now, is that incriminating? Should I not say that? So hypothetically, if I did go and do that, that I'm still, I'm still getting some of the, you know, voice acting and that kind of stuff, just so I get little pieces of that and I understand how it's done in other contexts. But for our purposes here, you know, just when it comes to progression and the numbering of the episodes and all that sort of stuff and the experience of it, yeah, we're going to stick with going back and forth between the sub and dub just so I get a more complete experience than anybody ever has when it comes to uh, watching Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. But that said, uh, I will take this this time to say that we are going to be, because of, there's so much filler in a lot of these episodes and a lot of the episodes that I've been putting out have been so short, we are going to be doubling up uh -uh, on uh, the episodes so that they're a little longer and you can just pop them on and not have to, you know, sit there wrapped in attention uh, for the whole five minutes that the episode is on that, you know, my video's on. So we are going to double up on these videos and I'm going to put them out like that and then we're going to have some extra stuff on extra days so we, we keep up, you know, the pace here because we've had a good pace for a while now and I don't want to, I don't want to mess that up. So we're going to have a whole new thing coming out on, uh, odd days just to keep that up and I hope I hope 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 that you guys will check that out I think it's uh how can I say it I mean it is incredibly weird is what I'll say <laughs> I think I was, I was thinking through all the possible adjectives I could use to describe what it is it's incredibly weird so if that is something that interests you in October the month of our lord or whatever it is then uh, then check that out but otherwise we are just doing some more Dragon Ball and this is DBZ season two wait I'm gonna wait for the hold on I have to wait for the thing and then I'll say the whole I'll say the whole deal so just hold on a sec season two episode 57 I'm excited even though I messed everything up I'm super excited I originally thought that was a hanged person. <laughs> I, I forgot what I was watching. All right, so he's in a magma storm, or no? Okay, not magma. He's in a <laughs> magnetic storm. Yeah, it's pretty odd. Oh my god! It's like the beginning of Xeno Gears. I don't think anybody gets that reference. <laughs> Super gravity coming out of me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's not good. No, that's not good. さっきのドラゴンボールを持っているチビにも見覚えがあるぞ。さっさと変身したらどうなんだ。何？ザーボン。I like that aspect of his character, that, you know, he wants to be pretty, <laughs> so he doesn't want to change. We've got to watch Akira at some point. Oh, nice. Ah, multitasking. Ah, it's a battle Go on. <laughs> Sounds like an airplane. I still don't know the name of that attack. That's a sweet attack. Goku and his epic battle with a rope. Kaioken? You see, he's a Kaioken? But it is a novel enemy, you know, to have an antagonist that is gravity. Battletoad's scary. Oh, his arms, arms all busted up. Oh, that did his face dirty. He did it! 
Oh, oh, damn. Laugh, don't make me laugh. Papa music. What is it? Da, 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 da. I don't think that's it. Oh, I'm going to be good at fighting. I got hit it. Oh, geez, no, got him back. Oh, did that go through? Hey, what's it gonna be? Oh! How did you do it? I don't know. 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 Dude, you're supposed to be a hero. There it is. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god. So I didn't expect that. K9 uh, just kind of relenting there at the end. He's just relying on Gohan. But you can't just give up. I mean, yeah, K9 is the one character-wise most likely to do that sort of thing because he's a little more sly, a little less reckless than Goku and Gohan are. So it makes sense for his character, yes. But still, just handing it over to Vegeta without like an extra plan or some kind of something? I don't know. But anyway, like I said, so I went through and salvaged what audio uh, I could um, because I'd, I'd recorded some of it and there was a bunch of issues. So um, I'm trying to fix it and there's some issues with the next one too, but I'm trying to fix those too. But so I'm sorry if the audio quality dips in and out. Hopefully we can get through this point and, and just move on to the next batch. But so in that one, it was just... Just, yeah, Vegeta, oh my gosh, Vegeta, Kali Mod, freaking Battletoads, and he's got quite the, the win streak going on here against some pretty tough opponents, so that's pretty awesome for Vegeta. And he spared K9, which is of course the most important thing that could have happened, although I'm, I'm frustrated with K9 right now, but still. So Vegeta spared him, and Goku had his epic battle with the rope, and now we're moving on from here. Alright, let's see. Season 2, episode 58! What's Kurt Russell doing here? <laughs> okay, well. This is the Ginya Club or whatever. It's a little weird that we have two characters where planets were named after them. And this guy just has heard of everything and is terrified of it. It's kind of a cheap way to build up your antagonist. <laughs> I thought he was peeing himself. <laughs> you got Yamucha being all overconfident and cocky. What has dude actually accomplished? Run, go on! さっさと姿を見せんとこの辺り一体を吹っ飛ばすぞ。<laughs> Talking that trash. <laughs> I kind of love this moment. <laughs> oh, is he getting sentimental about it? Like, I wish you the best. Can we be friends? Something like that. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Oh, he spared him though. He spared him. So I thought maybe he was turning over a new leaf, but... <laughs> Gasp, yeah. You 
do wonder if Vegeta maybe feels a little softer, having been spared before. And that's part of his motivation for sparing, you know, K9 Go Gohan. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, he's pissed. He's pissed. Yeah, I figured he would do that. <laughs> I expected him to do that. What? What are you gonna do? Ah, some of them are washing by Naka. Or a Gohan was ready. Canine's creepy laughs. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we've got the Ginya Force on its way to take out uh, the, you know, get the Dragon Balls back. We've got Vegeta doing his thing, and he's all super pissed now. We've got Frieza, you know, just kind of sitting around a lot watching TV, but still uh, a formidable foe to be dealing with. Goku is eating and doing sit-ups and stuff. But holy hell, I like that moment. When uh, when Vegeta finds Gohan and they go through that whole thing, that was super awesome. That was a really awesome moment in the episode. I really appreciated it. So, but okay, that should have caught me back up, fixed those things, and now we get to move on to the next ones. And I think the audio is good on those. But like I said, look out for a couple of special things in between so we can keep the pace up. But otherwise, I hope all is well, and I'll see you on that one.